Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, we'll be creating this very simple SwiftUI application, which parses this API file and displays the information inside of the app. This is an API containing a list of Star Wars spaceships, so it should be interesting. And as you can see, we are going to only be using the name, model, and manufacturer inside of our application. You can get this API from this URL, and I'll also link it in the description. Without further ado, let's get this episode started. Welcome back guys, so the first thing we need to do is actually go to github and I want you to go to this URL Now this URL just contains a repository and a package which allows you to pass JSON files very easily This is going to be very simple and in order to use this all you need to go is simply click on code Click on this clipboard over here Go back to your project Click on the test or like the name of your app And what we need to do is we need to add a framework slash library slash embedded content I'm simply going to click on this plus sign, add other, add package dependency, and paste that URL that we just oh that we just clipboarded uh, that we just copied, and click on next. It's going to verify it, and I'm going to click on next. Perfect. Now that it's done loading, I'm simply going to click on finish, and we'll go back to our content view. Inside of here, the first thing we need to do is simply import and I'm going to say Swifty JSON, just like this. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to create a struct and we're going to call it info for information and it's going to be an identifiable struct and inside of here, let's create a var id and we're going to put string, var name, we're going to put string as well, var model, string and var manufacturer and string now the main reason why i just called it that way is because we're simply going to be collecting the name model and manufacturer so that's why i left it. and id you actually have to put it there after that we are going to be creating a class and we're going to call it class and i'm going to say info a and i'm going to say observable ob uh, object Let's create it now the first thing we need to do is type in published var and i'm going to call this infos i'm going to say it's equal to info and then an open and close the bracket now we're going to create an init and don't worry about all these errors we're going to fix it up and inside of the init we're going to say let source so now we need to write the source of uh, the API source, the URL of the source. So we're going to go here and this is again the API that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go inside of here and I'm going to paste it. Also, I just realized that I did a mistake. This should be observable object, not observed objects. So I'm simply going to say observable object. I hope I spelled that correctly. After the source, what we need to do is simply type in let URL and then I will say URL and we say it's of type string and we're going to pass in the source that we just created and we know it definitely will exist so I'm going to force unwrap it. Next what we need to do is we need to create a session so I'll say let session and it will be a URL type session. Inside of here we need to add configuration and we're just going to give it a default one. And after that, what we need to do is we need to use this session and we're going to add a data task with that URL that we created. So I'll simply say URL. And after that, what we need to do is we need to just handle any errors if there are any. So I'm going to say data and this, and then I'll say error. And this obviously should have been inside of a bracket. Just like this and then i'll say in and we will check if we do have any errors what we need to do is just print that error well that's what i'll be doing for now but i recommend handling it in a better way so i'll say error dot localized description and we can force unwrap this 
Now we're actually going to begin working with the JSON file. So I'm simply going to say let JSON equal to try and look how simple this is. We're simply going to say JSON and we're going to say data data and exclamation mark. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to loop over that data. So I'm going to say for i, for i in JSON, which is the object that we just created. And inside of here, I'm going to put results. Now let's pay attention here for a second. Let me just close off the for loop. I'm going to minimize this. And I'm also going to minimize our API, our API file over here. As you can see here, I did write results. That's because in my API, API file, what I'm looking for is the results column. I want to look at everything inside of the results. So that's why I'll be putting results inside of here. And I'm going to keep this open for a second. Now what I need to do is I need to loop over this and I'll say let name is equal to i.1 dot dot string value. And inside of here, we need to put the exact same value inside of result. So as you can see here, we have name. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it inside of here. There we go. In fact, what I will do is I'll copy this instead of keeping this open and I'll maximize this and I'll paste it and we can just comment it out so that we don't do mistakes. Now I'm going to copy this and I'll do it three times. And for this one, I'm actually going to, for this one, I'm going to call it model. And we're going to copy exactly how it's spelled over here. And manufacturer. Exactly like this. So this is actually looping through results and it's collecting all this information. But now we actually want to use it somehow. In order to do this, all we need to do is first create a dispatch queue. So I'm simply going to say dispatch queue.main.async and inside of here I'm going to say self.infos and I'm referring to this object over here dot append and inside of here we need to call in the name of the struct that we created so I'll simply say info open the bracket and it will continue for me and I'll double tap on it now for id this should be something unique um, now usually in API files you have where is my API file uh, over here you have something unique here that you can use for now I'm just going to use a combination of the name and the model so I'll come here and I'm going to do this and I'll say name and then I'll say model and for the name what we are going to be passing is simply the name Oops, seems like Xcode is crashing on me. And model, we're going to be passing model. Manufacturer, obviously you guessed it. Just like this. And what we need to do in order for this to work is we, not the first one, not the second one. On the third one, we need to simply click resume. Just like this. And this should actually work. Now... We are right now parsing this and we're actually receiving the information, but we then need to display it inside of our application, just like, just like this. So all I'm going to do is I'll simply go over here and I'm going to create an at observed object and I will say var and I'll call it spaceships. And this is equal to the info a class so i'll simply say info a just like this now what we need to do is we are going to create a list so i'm simply going to say list and i'll say spaceships i'll say infos and then i'll say i'll open and close the zigzag bracket and over here i'll say i in and inside of here i'm going to create first of all i'm going to create a B stack and inside of here I'll create text and I'm going to say name 
and then I'll say I dot and we're going to reference the name. I'll copy this three more times for the model and the manufacturer ID. Inside of here, I'll say model. Inside of here, I'll say manufacturer. I think I said manufacturer ID for some reason. Obviously, here we're going to say model. Then over here, we are going to say manufacturer. Now, if I run this right now, the text will be everywhere. So I'm just going to add a very simple alignment. I'll simply say, I'll open and close the bracket and I'll say alignment. And I want it to be a dot leading. Let's go ahead and run this and see if this app actually works. Okay, perfect. So the app finished running. And as you can see, we are collecting the exact information from the API file. We have the name as CR90 Corvette. And the first um, spaceship is CR90 Corvette. Model, same thing. Manufacturer, ma manufacturer I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. But you get the point. As you can see, right now you have the Star Destroyer. the Sentinel to class landing craft. And basically, uh, basically, we are going through this API. We're passing the information and we are displaying it inside of our app. You can use this with any API file. If this is something that you enjoyed and if you learned something new, please make sure you do click that like, bu like button. Make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you need to get in contact with me, please make sure you, you do that by following the instructions in the description. Have a good day.